What's up, you guys? I'm Metal Monkey. Uh, today I've enlisted the help of Monkey's Girl. I'm going to show you today's tech tip. And today's tech tip is how to land a set of captured tubes. So, uh, I've talked about this before and I've shared it on my social media. And today I'm going to actually show you how to do this. So, uh, by captured tube, we mean all four sides are enclosed, okay? And you want to bring a triangulated lace in. Now, in my opinion, uh, your tubes at the point of contact in the center here should overlap each other. At least the well's overlapping, but I've designed this to do a little bit more. Uh, but once you set one tube in place, you're not going to be able to actually put the other tube in. So I'm going to show you how to properly node in uh, that, and I'm going to show you a, a cool little trick by using the droppings from my notcher. So I save these. I don't throw these away right away after I sat there and notched a bunch of tubes. And this is exactly why. All right, you guys say this is our halo here, okay? Uh, I've already marked the point, center point here. First things first is I'll take my first tube and start to set it in. So, uh, got a long notch on one side, more shallow notch on the other. Of course, I would bevel all of this. Uh, the long notches are not really that hard. I use cut off wheels on a grinder. I just cut into it. Uh, then I fit it in the notcher at the angle I need and just run the notcher through to clean it up. You can also do that with the Amera braid or even a flapper wheel on your grinder, okay? So, the first time, fit this tube in here and I want this tube to just go over the center point right here, okay? So, I'll fit that tube, nice. Then my second tube, if everything is symmetrical, should be about the same. So, I'm gonna fit that tube in and that tube I also have going just over the center point right here, okay? Now, the problem is, when you go to put this together, if everything, all of your notches are nice and tight, which is what we like, we like tight notches, we try to pride ourselves on that type of thing, what happens is, I can't get this tube in this joint. I can't flex it enough. I mean, it's roll cage tubing. It's supposed to be very robust, right? It's supposed to be strong. So, uh, I'm not just gonna be able to flick this around. I also don't really like to do loose notches if I can help it. So, the proper way to, to really drop this tube in is to come to the other side, mark it with my marker, and what I do is I cut from the lip here to the lip here with a cutoff wheel. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut one of the lobes off of this notch completely. So, if you could. All right, so, once you've cut that piece off, I'm gonna take it over to the Ameribraid. And now I've added a little bit of a node out here uh, to accept this, uh, and I've cut off one whole ear, right? So this should essentially drop right into place, uh, and it should land in the center. Now my two tubes reinforce this tube here, and the center right here uh, between these three pieces uh, becomes essentially extra strong. The problem is I know that I have a big giant gap on the other side over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack these in place and I'm gonna show you on the other side uh, why we keep those little guys. All right, however, we know that on the other side there's a giant gap right there. All right, so I wanna bevel this little notch out, drop out of the notcher and give it a little bit of grain so it matches. And you'd be surprised at how well those fit right in there and you're done. 